Hi there, Cosmic Family. My name is Jesle Allen in this incarnation. Today, I wanted to talk about those moments when uh, we have to make a decision, when we have to take action for something, but we are not able to do that because we are um, having this big sense of indecision. And uh, I think the, the first step is to look at the root of this. Uh, I experimented this by myself. And the um, indecision came from uh, a place of lack of trust in myself many times. This came from a wound. And many times indecision is a refuge to not uh, keep going, you know, in our path. And uh, if I am not taking a decision, then uh, I won't fail. You know, uh, the, what is hiding uh, behind the, the sense of indecision, it is our resistance uh, to fail. You know, that is a perception of the ego. You know, there, there is no failures in life, only lessons. But many times we, um, we don't want to make the incorrect decision I already explained this in the in the video of the inner messiah, and uh, today I wanted to uh, talk about how we can um, uh, hear our inner guide, because uh, other thing that is important is that when we are having so much options, for example, um, to to approach a situation, uh, it is because our ego is confusing us. Uh, the answers of the soul usually are very, very simple. You know, <laughs> there, there is no uh, a lot of options. Options uh, comes from ego. And uh, the soul, actually, uh, it's not only simple. The options, uh, the answers of the soul uh, are uh, pulses to evolve, to evolve, uh, are pulses to um, uh, grow, and usually the options of uh, the ego have to do more with uh, a stay in our comfort zone, uh, a stay in uh, what we all already know, um, a stay, uh, you know, in the in the in the familiar places. So this um, could be a, a a little guide to understand more. Uh, which one is the is the voice of our soul, you know? So I I'm going to put an example of a video that I already uh, I uploaded um, when I talked about my uh, anxiety crisis. Uh, the first one was ten years ago, and the last one uh, was last year. So um, it's important to understand that the with the last one um, I I don't remember if I related this but I, I had a little uh, conflict with a, a therapist uh, it wasn't a conflict it, it was just a, a little discussion uh, because um, I was uh, I was having this indecision uh, because I, I was feeling very 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 bad you know and I didn't experiment that um, as hard, as strong as I experimented 10 years ago. So uh, it took me by surprise, you know, uh, ideal how I could. And uh, mm, the voice of my soul was telling me, you have to keep going. You going you're going to uh, uh, heal this by yourself. You don't need to go to a therapy because you, you will find the answer uh, of why it, it, this is happening to you. Uh, the answer I, I shared that in in that video, uh, but the voices of 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 my ego uh, were telling me uh, like no you can do it alone you have to look for a, a, a therapy you won't do it um, if if you don't look for help you uh, you can do it alone again uh, so uh, uh, those those were the the voices of my ego and that. Um, cost me the, the indecision. Uh, so it's very important. I, I, at last I, I followed the, the voice of my soul. So um, luckily because uh, I, I discovered something important for, for my path and to understand uh, anxiety crisis. So many times uh, the voice of the soul is very simple, you know. It, it's something that um, 
you know, I'm having an illness or a disease, and the voice of the soul is saying to me, uh, you're already cured, uh, or uh, uh, you, you will cure by yourself, uh, identifying your emotion, for example, how it happened uh, to me, too. I'm sharing my own experiences just to put examples, you know. So many times, the voice of the soul, it's not the one that has the logic that the rational mind wants. And what is difficult is to follow that voice because uh, it's not uh, in the structure of the uh, rational mind many times. So uh, this is important to understand the voice of our soul uh, because it, it's, it's very, very much simple. And many times we are resisting um, the faults, we are resisting the, the failures. And many times the soul wants us to experiment those things because um, this I explained in the, in the Inner Messiah video too. But if we don't make mistakes, if, if we don't uh, experiment um, what we perceive from ego as failures, we don't learn. There, there's experience. There are experiences in in this life that we really have to take. Uh, there are lessons. So um, if uh, we are avoid to to feel um, the pain of that, or or if we are avoiding those experiences, we are um, avoiding uh, our soul contract. You know, uh, and we can't avoid that. Uh, the, the, there, there's uh, lessons. There are lessons in our, in our lives that we're going to experiment, whether we like it or not. So uh, many times, the resistance to decide has to do with those things. And I mean, it's very important to understand that uh, we have to failure when we have to failure, and failure fast. You know, <laughs> have that that failure fast. I mean. Um, I don't want to, to uh, if I, I am starting a relationship and that relationship won't work, I, I prefer to, to, um, to uh, go through that failure fast and not to put many, many years of energy in that, you know? But many times we do that because we want, uh, we, we want, um, we don't want to sense uh, we, we, we did a mistake. We don't want to sense, uh, we don't want to feel that um, something that we put energy uh, and, and that we build for, for a, a time is going to, to fall, you know? So this is, these are the, the resistance from the ego. But again, I think uh, to decide, to decide when many many options are coming to our mind is because our ego is uh, interfering and the most simple answer uh, maybe not the most logic one but the most simple is the one that is coming from our soul and that's the one we have to hear uh, so it, we need presence to do that uh, and many times the voice of the soul is telling us something that we don't want to hear, you know? Many times, uh, for example, if I have to decide to keep going uh, with, a, with a job where I am not happy but I am very comfortable uh, with the money I am I'm earning uh, and I have to take a decision, maybe the voice of my soul will tell me uh, clearly that um, I have to take another path that is unknown, and uh, maybe that voice is, doesn't feel comfortable, you know, um, on the contrary. So it's important to face the voice of the soul too and to understand that uh, that decision came from a place of uh, spiritual maturity, uh, came from a place that we are, are going to open new doors uh, to new experiences. and. And that is something that could be uh, an adventure, you know, a new adventure. So um, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you, everybody, and see you tomorrow. Goodbye.